Gras festivities. Now you tell her Remy sent you, and it's by two, get one. There, tell her I sent you. I know, I know, I'm not supposed to enjoy my coffee on air. <laughs> oh, Gilbert's turning red, folks. <laughs> oh, I tell you, we like to have our fun, dear listener. And that's what Mardi Gras is gonna be all about. Good old-fashioned New Bordeaux F-U-N. And if I sound a little enthusiastic, well, I'm sorry about it. But I am. I've talked before about being honored to be part of a crew of knights for the 10th year run. We got a heck of a flow plan for y'all, and we have spared no expense in strutting Austin. Now, this will be my first crew since my dad died last year. Dear listener, you know how important Mardi Gras was to him. God rest his soul, he was one of the crew of Knight's Founders. He was captain for more years than I can remember, and Daddy was Rex back in 1932, for those of you whose memories go all the way back then. Oh, you know, I tell you, he'd spend weeks, that months, preparing. Mm. More than anything else, it was the tradition, the feeling of being part of something, of this city that he loved so. My father believed that every man had his role to play, and every role contributed to the greater whole. Those Reds over in Russia, even the ones here at home, they try to sell that as equality. <laughs> no, sir, there's always gonna be a king, and each king as his day. <laughs> I'll tell you, that coffee sure is fun. On the next episode, you better believe we're gonna talk about this here story that President Johnson is considering a deal with the Russians to scale back our nuclear program. We're gonna have that and a lot more right here on the Native Summer. doing up here? Help goes into the back. I'm, uh, I'm here to see Mr. Marcano. The name's Lincoln Clay. That a fact? I'll be goddamned. Mind your manners while you're in there, boy. Or they'll be hell to pay you here. What took you cats so long? Piece of shit drill kept overheating. You and Lincoln both still in one piece? Yeah, we good. Where's Danny? He's pushing everything off the side so that we have room to catch the money. All right, well, once you squared away up here, we start driving it down. We'll make it quick. Motherfuckers killed the lights. Just worry about the money. I'll deal with this. How about we 
boy finish this. We gonna be rich, Lincoln! Rich! They're trying to flush us out. Stay focused on what you're doing. What is going on? Hell yes. Ain't those the guards playing the beats in Baton Rouge? Ah! Want some more? God damn it, those guards will cut us down the second we make a break for it. Tell Danny he needs to get us out of here. And these bastards got us pinned down, y'all need to figure something out. I got some TNT. I'll put on our side of the hole and detonate it. What the fuck is that gonna accomplish? With any luck, it'll blow a hole big enough for y'all to drop down. Oh. With any luck, Danny, do you even know what the fuck you're doing? Come on, it's dynamite. How complicated could it be? It's lit. Get the fuck away from the hole. No one really knows why Sal Marcon.